Things are clearly better. Uh, they're not running away on the upside by any means, but they are better. Um, the big problems of balancing our budget have not been done. And I don't think that Congress is going to address those until after the election. And then they better do it because long term, you cannot go and keep spending money you don't have. Deficits do matter. Uh, and there's never a good time to attack those deficits. In good times, nobody wants to do it. God will provide. In bad times, you obviously can't do it because people have needs. Uh, but I think that at the moment, uh, the housing crisis has stopped getting worse. There is some take up of houses that have been on the market and never occupied or those that have been foreclosed on. Uh, there is a growth in manufacturing in the United States that is encouraging in one sense and that manufacturing has not left the country and conventional wisdom is all the jobs have gone overseas. That's the good news. The bad news is uh, most of the growth that we've seen in the economy is bottom line growth, not top line growth. It is from companies doing things more efficiently. And what we need in America right now are companies that employ more people, not companies that employ fewer people. But you go through an economic cycle where companies get leaner and much more efficient, and then as times get good, they slowly grow back to where they were before. They add people to try new things. They add people because they can afford to do it. Why not have another level of backup? And I think that you can argue that the bottom has been reached. I don't think you can argue that um, it's all a days of wine and roses, as we would say, going forward. I think uh, we still have uh, immigration laws that are hurting our economy very badly. Uh, we still have a health care system that is out of control. We cannot afford it. Uh, you see municipalities all across America struggling with pension systems and uh, benefits that the public wants, but the public doesn't have the ability or have the interest in paying for. Uh, we have not uh, solved, uh, addressed the deficit issue at all. Um, and we're living in a world where it's much more competitive and there's some great dangers out there. There are uh, countries where uh, there's uh, Revolutions, the nicest way is to phrase it, I think. Um, where democracy is uh, struggling in some places. people, Some people want democracy, other people are trying to take away democracy. And we all live in a very interconnected world. Europe's problems are not good for America. It's a big market for us. China's problems are not good for America. It's a big problem for us. And in America, we have tended to blame other uh, countries for our own problems, some of which is true, but if you use that as an excuse, it keeps you from really addressing uh, the core issues. We don't have an education system that is uh, satisfactory for the world we're living in or going into. Uh, we have in our country not invested in infrastructure. New York City actually has. New York City has put an enormous amount in the last 10 years into infrastructure. And I think that we, I always get annoyed when everybody says the, the federal government should help all places because all of our infrastructure is coming down. That's not true. New York City residents have reached in their pocket and they've made the investments. They learned the lesson from the 70s when they didn't do that. But it is true that a big part of America has not invested in uh, infrastructure. And maybe the last big infrastructure project that we had was uh, done by Eisenhower or the interstate uh, highway system. Uh, but we've not done anything since then. We have not addressed the issue of how people get from here to there. Our airports are woefully inadequate. New York City, it's really hard to see how you solve the problem because they're just, the, our airports are basically downtown. In other big cities, they're very far away and you have room to grow. We don't have that. And how we're going to solve that is going to be a big problem. So the, the short line answer, better but not running away on the upside and fragile if for no other reason than uh, there are an enormous number of jobs that are vacant and an enormous number of unemployed people and the skill sets are so totally mismatched it's really hard to see how you get them together. And the markets that we sell into, Asia and uh, Europe, are having their own problems. Thank you. Lydia, with that, in front. 